What's up everyone, Boone here from Shutterstock. Today I want to talk to you about motion graphics templates in Adobe Premiere Pro. So now, first of all, why would you ever want to use a template? Well, there's a variety of reasons. Let's say you just don't like creating your own graphics or you lack the design skills. Maybe you're on a tight deadline and you don't have the time. Or maybe you just want to kickstart your own design process with a few ideas. Templates can serve you well in all these scenarios. So now let's go over to Premiere Pro and see how we can not only apply these templates, but also customize them. Okay, so let's say I'm working on this new YouTube series, it's a travel show, and I need to make an open intro graphic for this series, some kind of brief little animation that I can use at the beginning of each episode. So this is where these motion graphic templates are really going to come in handy. Now all of the templates are found in the Essential Graphics panel. To open that up, I'm going to go to Window and select Essential Graphics. Now just so we can see it a little bit better, I'm going to press the tilde key, which is going to full screen this. Now, this panel is made up of two main sections. We have Edit and Browse. All of the templates are found underneath the Browse section. Now here we can see we're in the My Templates tab here. We can do a keyword search, and all of these pre-made templates in this section are saved to our local templates folder. So this is really cool. All of these are ready to go. Now let's check out a couple here. You can see as I drag my mouse across, we're getting a hover scrub preview here. So to find out a little bit more information about a specific template, I can select this info button and get another preview here, see it a little bit better, and just find some additional information, the file size, the fonts used, very cool. So I don't want to use this one, I'm going to go back. If you look over here, you'll see an Adobe stock section. So this is going to bring us to just a bunch of extra really cool templates. Some of them are actually free as well. And you can see over here, you can filter by free. So this one's looking pretty cool. Um, as I hover scrub over this, this, this animation is looking quite interesting. So I'm going to check out the information on this one. Yeah, this one's looking pretty cool. I think this is the one I want to go with. And again, in this info button, we can find out some more information. This one has some specifics about how the template actually works and a bunch of keywords. So this one's cool. Let's, let's go with this one. I'm going to go back. Okay, applying the template is as simple as dragging and dropping into the timeline. So I'm going to grab here in the Essential Graphics panel and drag it right over top of our clips here on the timeline. It's going to take a few seconds because it actually has to get these assets. And you might get a warning here, and this is due to the fact that the fonts that it's using are not installed on my computer, and it's telling us you need to either get these fonts on Adobe's website and sync them up with your Creative Cloud account, or it's gonna automatically substitute for a default font, which I'm fine with. If you wanna check out the fonts, you can go to Adobe Typekit, and I think with a Creative Cloud account, you can sync up a certain number of fonts for free. Now I'm gonna render preview real quick. And there we go, we can see our animation now. And there's actually even an alpha channel on this. At the beginning there, it actually kind of transitions on, which is really cool. Now that's looking pretty good. Let's see what we can do to customize this thing. To make changes, I need to go back to the Essential Graphics panel and select Edit. Now we're not seeing anything here, and that's because our clip is not selected. And once I select it, then it's gonna bring up all of our properties that we can change and edit. Now you can see here, our text is at the top. So I'm going to go up here, change this to France. You can see it update here. Let's say we want that to be all caps, France. There we go, that's better. Now we can go down and change the size and the size of the margin. So let's see how this looks. It's looking pretty good. And you can see that this font, you can see the font doesn't really match and that's because it, we didn't sync it up with our Adobe Typekit. But for the purposes of this tutorial, this will work for right now. And now we can change the colors of all of these. Now let's say we want to change it to kind of more of like the French flag, more of a red and a blue. We can change that here. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. And we could change, you know, the parameters or the colors of all the outer lines, but we'll leave those the way they are. And now it's telling us down here in a comment that these two colors, one and two, color one and two, blend into each other to create an alternate color. So you can see the blend modes here, they're blending together. Now, you can see that our changes have been applied. We have our new colors here. And there's one last thing we can do. If you look at the bottom here, you can see that you can actually turn this background color off. And now you can see we have transparency here. Now let me do another render preview and take a look. 
And there we go, we can see our colors now. You can see how fast I put this together, how fast I was able to find it, apply it, and customize it. This is why these templates are so powerful. I mean, I did this in less than five minutes. I didn't have to go into After Effects or any other program. I didn't have to leave Premiere Pro at all. And I was able to completely and totally customize this thing. Okay, so there you have it. Those are motion graphic templates inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. But I'd like to know what you think. Do you like them? Do you think you'll use them? Let me know in the comment section. All right, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you next time.